let us see about the structure of the power electronic system so we can see the structure of a power electronic system with the help of an example so this power converter acts as an interface between the source and the load so here i have taken a dc motor and i want to control the speed of this dc motor so first thing what i have to do is i have to measure the speed of this motor as well as i have to measure the voltage so i am using sensors to measure the parameters and give this information to a control circuit again i have to give some input for the control circuit which is called the reference speed so this is the speed at which i want to run the motor so this control circuit will do the calculation and it will generate the control signal so which will control the power converter so required amount of voltage will be delivered to the load and motor will run at the reference speed so the and the important thing is you have to isolate this control circuit from the power circuit because this control circuit is a low voltage circuit and this power circuit is a high voltage circuit any disturbances here can affect this low voltage circuit so you need to use some uh, optocoupler or isolation transformers to isolate the control circuit from the power circuit so the function of a power electronic system is to uh regulate this load as well as provide isolation between the power circuit and the control circuit power electronic systems basically consist of two elements switches and capacitors and inductors so switches are used to control the power flow from source to load and um, this energy storing elements inductor and capacitors are used to uh, limit the rate of change of current and rate of change of voltage so thereby you can provide a um, path for the current and uh, smoothen the transfer of energy next is the advantages of power electronic converters first one they have a higher efficiency or low loss in uh, power semiconductor devices this is a bridge rectifier of 1000 volts and 1 amp specification you can see the size of this one which is very small and uh, it is also static and they have a fast dynamic response meaning if you give the input you will get the output quickly then they have a longer life and they are said to be highly reliable disadvantages of power electronic converters the major limitation is that they inject harmonics into the supply system ideally this uh, plug point if you see the waveform it will be purely sinusoidal actually if i connect a non linear load like a laptop to this source what will happen is the waveform gets distorted like this and it will also affect the loads connected to the same point so they uh, inject harmonics into the supply side the next thing is they operate at low input power factor that is um, ideally we should have a unity power factor that is the voltage and current should be in phase but most of the power electronic operation will have this phase difference and they have low overload capacity means that you can see the size of a power electronic device so uh, it gets heated up easily and uh, this is a heat sink used to dissipate the heated um, heat generated in the device so if you overload it it cannot withstand too much of heat so it have low overload capacity so the points to remember here is the function of the uh, power electronic system is to uh, regulate the load and provide isolation then um, the main components in power electronic converters are switches inductor and capacitor the advantages are 
high efficiency small size and they are static disadvantages they introduce harmonics into the system these are some of the questions which you can prepare for a interview so for answers you can um, find the link in description so thank you for watching if you like it do subscribe to read electric vehicle thank you